Welcome back to a new vlog. This is like our first um, home vlog in a while. Um, trying to think what's changed. I bought these baskets from B&M. Um, I think these were eight pounds each. This like chest of drawers was just an absolute mess. I mean, it's still a bit marked. It was, it was free off Marketplace. <laughs> um, and then I got this basket as well from B&M. And the other day I walked into the bathroom and Barney was filling it with water so now it's very misshapen <laughs> but it doesn't smell it smelled a bit damp for a few days but it's dried out now so that's a win look at the size of the blooming microphone on this camera so we're having issues with the inbuilt mic on the camera so if anyone cares we've got the canon g7x and um, so we added this thing off amazon called a newer um, it's just basically it screws on the bottom and then it means that then you've got like a place to screw in a microphone because this has a microphone jack but no place to like um is it called a shoehorn it's definitely not called a shoehorn something to pop to slide the microphone on if that makes sense so um this is just a mic that we had it's the road mic that we had on the dslr when i used to do my like sophie bell sit down videos <laughs> which um I don't do anymore so yeah I've just got ready well I've got my PJ pants on because I'm not wearing pants till I need to <laughs> um I've just kind of curled the bottom of my hair I've just been doing that just curling the very ends to just give it a bit of like shape um but yeah welcome to a new vlog Barney and Dave are currently out they're at gymnastics and then later on in the week we're going to see Disney on Ice which I'm so excited about we have been um gifted some tickets um so we've invited some of our friends that live up in Newcastle and they're going to meet us there because it's in Leeds which is about an hour and a half um away from us and I think it's about an hour and a half away from them as well so we're kind of meeting a bit further up north um in Leeds um and yeah i'm really excited so it should be a really nice week <laughs> i've got something that i think you're gonna like and i got it got it for me I'm you'll intrigued. see why it's katsu curry but high protein my protein is it like a microwave meal yeah oh i've had some of their other ones and they're pretty good like right so i thought we'd try this one let's see it Ooh frozen obviously looks good yeah good amount of chicken yeah That's right so i'm excited me too it's really good is it yeah on a scale of one to ten if ten is a uh, katsura grill oh katsura grill probably like a six and a half seven really? That's it's nice. good i mean it's nowhere near as good as cat uh, as katsura grill but yeah it's nice are you gonna have a mm, shot yes. a shot a taste do you know what I mean? Like it's it's definitely not The batter's very thick and it's not crispy. It's not crispy. That's the issue. Yeah. But the flavour's good. Yes. That's my verdict. Yeah. Katsu. Um, what would you give it a, 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 on a katsu to grill ten? Flavour, yeah. like seven or eight. Yeah. Texture four. That's it, right? Like you miss the crisp. Yeah. You miss the crunch. And the chicken doesn't feel as nice. No. But but what I would say is that the chicken feels um like it's Good chunks of big like big chicken, chicken breasts. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Nice. Babs from um chicken run. <laughs> nice big chicken. <laughs> poor oh, babs. so good. I, mean, <laughs> I think you were gonna say, oh poor babs. Oh, no. poor babs. So good. It just it, I ate it and then the taste hit me. It was I was enjoying it. It was so good. It was very good. <laughs> right, I just made it to it's over there. To next. Um, I have told Dave that I bought Barney some leggings because all his leggings are really, really short on him. He's He's been in age two to three since he was about two and now he definitely needs three to four. So I've ordered him some new three to four leggings. Um, but I also got him like two pairs of leggings. I don't know why I'm whispering. Dave's gonna see this when I get home. <laughs> some vests, um, a hoodie and some shoes. I just thought he just needed a little capsule wardrobe just to see him into the spring and summer so Dave won't mind at all but you know and you're like I've just ordered just ordered this thing and you've ordered like five things new clown let's see it's nothing for you I just get so excited why is it have a look wow oh nice blues that'll look good for you 
Oh, thank you. Do I get to open one? Come here. Come here. Sit down. Ready? Want me open? Oh, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> Ready, steady. <gasps> oh, it's lovely. A little, <laughs> little shirt. A little polo shirt. Ooh. We love a polo moment. Oh wow! These are fleecy on the inside. They look nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Yes. Oh, okay. the most important thing. The D. Pancakes. The D. Um, the same ones. Is it just me doing the whole barn? Yeah. It? Okay. Chip. <laughs> <laughs> the same ones in. Like a navy. Navy. They've yeah. got little like stars on the. On the knees, knees which is nice. I thought this would be nice for the spring and summer. I love that. I it's really cute, love that. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Little hood. And that blue would be so nice on him. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, I wonder. Um, I thought he could do with some new, like, long sleeve tees. And these are great because they're a vest, but they look like a t-shirt. Oh, wow. You yeah, know, I like leggings. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that one stripey i mean that would look so nice with either of those yeah and then like a a blue great and again he just looks so good in those kind of colors like yeah. all of them will sit in really well <gasps> pajamas pjs pjs come and have a look you hold you hold the pancakes keep those safe <laughs> can you see so Barney used to have these in like the onesie version, but these are like the grown up. Oh, wow. Aren't they yeah. so cute? So wow. the bears, I think they're elephants. Thank you. Yeah, they are elephants. Yeah, they're lovely. So there's the bear. They're so soft as well. Oh my God. There's the wow. elephants. <laughs> wow. And then those, are, oh, they're so gorgeous. They're like little white and blue stars. Yeah, I really love those. Sorry, I was a bit distracted, so it may, <laughs> might have sounded like I wasn't interested. Um, I just wanted to make sure Barney wasn't doing anything I'm saying. And then lastly... Shoes! Shoesies! Are they croc? No, they look like crocs for a second. <laughs> Don't like, get too what? excited. <laughs> <gasps> Little navy trainers. Oh, uh, I love those. Cute. Yeah, I really love those. Open. So cute. Oh, that one's really pieces. broken. I know. We'll get you a fresh one. Right, so I'm going to cook our dinner. Whenever there's food involved, this guy is never far behind. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video. We are so excited for dinner. Let me show you what we're having. So I've just got all the ingredients out. This is what we're having tonight. It's the pesto, chicken tray bake and garlic rice. And this looks so good. Such a nice, like easy family midweek dinner. So HelloFresh have a whole range of different recipes you can choose from. This one here you can see at the top in orange it says family but they also have the rapid range which you can cook in 20 minutes or under and they also have the under 650 calorie range as well which is great for Dave and we try and get one of those recipes as well. Okay how good well I was gonna say how good does this smell but you guys can't smell it but it smells so yummy. It turned out really, really well and that chicken is just cooked so nice. Yay! He's now asleep. <laughs> so here is our QR code. You can also use the discount code Sophie and Dave and that will get you 60% off your first box and 25% off your next two months. And it's also a reactivation code, which just means if you've been a HelloFresh customer before, more than three months ago, you can use the exact same codes and benefit from the same offer. Right, Chip, I think it's bedtime. Get into bed. Hi. Hi, Hi. can you <laughs> sit down? Right, I'm gonna fold some, this has just come out of the tumble dryer, some washing. Barney's watching Mr. Incredible, his new favorite film with his Mr. Incredible. You just relax for 15 minutes while I fold this washing. Um, See, so yeah, I'm going to get this folded. What do you want? Do you want to go outside? Where's your ball? Go and get your ball. Where's your ball? Outside? Walkie's outside. Dinner. You've had it. You've had it. 
Right, so yeah, let's fold this. Barney seems quite happy there. Good morning. So I have um, a doctor's appointment this morning. Um, and one sec, what am I even doing? The main thing for me really is just um, kind of clearing my mind of any worries. I just want to feel confident and happy and not worried um, going into this. And I'm really just conscious that I know, I know it's going to be hard, but I just want to enjoy this journey of my life. I feel like I look back at being pregnant and the early days with Barney and it it just has gone in such a whirlwind. It's definitely one thing that I'm trying to be really mindful of now with having a two-year-old is just enjoying him as he is right now. I mean, it's really full on and he's constantly making a mess, but I'm just, it's hard as, it's, it's easier said than done, but I'm really trying to be as present as I can with him and just enjoy the age that he's at. And now he's starting to say more things. It's just, Oh my gosh, it's just the best thing in the whole world. So, um, yeah, I just think if I can just rid my mind of any worries as much as I can pre-pregnancy, hopefully I'll be able to really enjoy it this time around. Um, probably not in the first 12 weeks, but <laughs> I just want to, I just want to enjoy my life and enjoy my babies and, um, be excited and I'm sorry I know that some people think that um it's very self-indulgent to be so you know excited about your life but I am I am this is like this is just my dream of, of being a mum and, and sometimes you know I get definitely caught up in the moment of the state of the house and tantrums and all of it and then I just have to like remind myself that I'm I'm in like the part of life that one day I will look back on and just wish I could do it all over again so um yeah I don't think I'm gonna put any makeup on I might just go like this to be honest right we're here we're at Smith's Toy Superstore hi Barry here we go going to spend Barney's Christmas vouchers off um, Auntie Kelly and Uncle Callum. Wow, Barn. This is so exciting. Look at these. What are these called? Look. Is it Whoa, a that's Chewbacca. Oh. Buzz. <gasps> Buzz Lightyear. Who is here? Wow. Up there. Up there. Up there. See you later. See you soon. Another firm favourite. <laughs> no, that one does. That one doesn't. Wow. Care Bears. I haven't seen Care Bears for years. Whoa. Oh, I mean. What are those? Dinos. Dinosaurs. Hurrah. That's a big one. Wow. A dinosaur. Wow. That one looks a bit like toothless. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. He's black and purple. Yeah, no, he's he's jet black, but he's got, no, like, he's so smooth Ooh. and gentle looking. That one's terrifying. <laughs> Look, it's a T-Rex. <gasps> Dave Tamagotchi. Oh, my gosh. I just remember all my teachers' desks being Full absolutely them. covered in them because they were not allowed and everyone would take them in anyway. I went to brownie camp and if you took a Furby oh. or a Tamagotchi, oh. they dropped it in a bucket of water no. and you had to say the Lord's Prayer. Oh, oh. God. Oh, Hammerhead Shark. <laughs> Look at you knowing your sharks, Dave. Well, <laughs> I was a boy like him once. <laughs> it's an anteater. You could put these in your farm. Wow! Show daddy. Wow! So so far he is 
held onto one of the dragons. The one that so says look like toothless, but it's really nothing it like him. It's more like the one from Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely not toothless, I don't know. <laughs> He's so cute. Wow, of course he wants the police car jeep. ATVs are cool. Barney. <laughs> Barney, you're not supposed to get in. It's, no, it says you can't lift it from the shelf. Oh, actually, that's, I you found a loophole, to be fair. It's the sound of oh. the police. It's on. Oh my goodness, don't drive it. Actually, don't drive it. Right. Wow. wow, look at those lights. I wonder if he's like, that means you're buying it. He's like, thank <laughs> you. Thank you for my present. Dad? Where's Dad? Where's he gone? Found you. <laughs> wasn't looking for PS5. You don't even have a PS5. Yes, I know. <laughs> I said PS5 bundles. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll Maybe wish Maybe one true. day. <gasps> Found. So we've decided we're gonna go with these two swords because normally we got get, get given something really small and he brings like a big wooden stick and he's like let's sword fight and then we get <laughs> bruised knuckles and stuff uh, and then we've also gone with this definitely nothing like toothless <laughs> black and purple dinosaur. It's a dragon. Dragon, sorry, that's what I mean. <laughs> How to train your dinosaur is not. He's not like that go for about twenty minutes. It's true. So. He's had it for the whole time, so. I think he's pretty happy with it. Should we go and pay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Spend more time here. <laughs> so we're home. Look what we got. Team bits. Like, smell like chip bits to me. <laughs> chip bits. I wouldn't want chips bits. <laughs> Actually, yeah, sounds like yeah, not something that's very nice. If you've never had these, so Tim bits. Well, it's Tim Hortons. They're a Canadian brand, right? Yeah. And I think they've been over here for a couple of years They now. have, but they're not everywhere. They were in Scotland to begin with, I think. Yeah. There's loads in Scotland, um, but these are the tin bits, which I think are the inside of a donut. The donut holes, yeah. Donut holes. And you get like cinnamon -y ones. Um, that one on the top is birthday cake. There's like chocolate brownie ones. There's like jam donut ones. There's an, I think there's like an apple claw one. Apple claw? Yeah, like it's kind of like a... You know, like a twisty donut? Oh. They call it like a bear claw or a claw. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> Look at Dave with his cup of tea. An actual cup of tea. Ready for his tin mm. Which one would you like? I really like this. I mean, I like them all, but I really like the cinnamon ones, so I might try and get one of those. Oh, they smell so good. Shall we see? Oh, yeah, that's a cinnamon one for sure. Mm, go for it. Mm. Mm. Wanna try some? Yeah. Right, so update. We've just put Barney down in his pram. Um he's so good. I wish he went down to bed at night this oh. this easily. For his nap, I just put him in his pram in the kitchen, put the washing machine on, and he goes to sleep. But we just thought we would update you on my doctor's appointment this morning. So my bloods came back all clear, which I wasn't like expecting, but I have been taking an iron supplement, so Hopefully that has um, made a difference. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. There's nothing more I need to do. She checked um, my thyroid and sh she said a load of things that they checked B12, iron, loads of things. And she said that for like a pre-pregnancy check, everything looks really, really good. So that's amazing. And then the other thing that I went in for to check was, um, I showed it in the last video, like the rash on my stomach that we kind of believe to be psoriasis, 
but um, my doctor has decided to treat it as a skin infection first, so I've got something to put on it um, to hopefully make it start to reduce, and then it should go away in a couple of months, she said. So the plan of action is, is to treat it as if it is um, some kind of infection, um, and then if this stuff that I've got doesn't budget, then I have to go back, and then I think we're gonna go down like this uh, psoriasis route. So we're here in Leeds. Uh, we have been very kindly invited by Seat Unique to come and see Disney on Ice. We are in a suite, I a, know, box. a box. I know, a box. I'm so, so excited. Yeah, it's going to be wild. Amazing sweet! This is absolutely outrageous. We've got a seating area and then there's bar stools and a little bar and then our other seats are just on the other side. I'll show you. We've got some drinks at the back and then we've got these bar stools here and then we've got 12 seats just here and then there's the stage. In case you're wondering, there are lots of people here wearing ears, so definitely wear your ears if you want to. Barney is running wild and I'm so glad we've got all this space. He is mostly excited about the fridge in the corner. <laughs> what can you see? Skittles? I think it's locked. Oh no, it's not, it's open. I don't think you realise it opens. <laughs> Amazing. It was like what kind of like one of the shows that you would see at a Disney park, but like on ice. ice <laughs> is what definitely what I was gonna say. But it was like is it massive good? Yeah. and amazing. And like the suite was mind blowing. That I know we thought we were just like yeah, <laughs> it's incredible, absolutely wild. Some flowers. 
Look what mummy's got for you from B&M. Little chicken eggs. Open, it's for Easter. I don't know. Open. Look at the dodgy paint on the walls. Okay, maybe we'll open them just to play with them and then mummy's going to do a Easter egg hunt with them. Hold on. Whoa! Whoa. Right. Barney open them. Whoa! <laughs> Eggs everywhere! So they're like little uh, chickens that I'm going to put little um, treats in for our Easter egg hunt. Right, let's do these flowers. They've been sat there for a few days. Can you say chick, 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 chick? Is that what chickens say? I don't even know. What is it? Did you open it? Mummy's going to put treats in for you. Treats for Easter. We're going to have our first Easter egg hunt. <gasps> Did you open them? Open and look. Shut. Oh, oh dear, he's impaled. Shh. Shut. We could put some dog treats in them as well. The chip. Do you want to see what else I got? <laughs> look. I thought these would be nice placemats for the table. Um, a cotton woven placemats, two pack, six pounds. So I got two packs of those. Two packs of those. And then I think I'm gonna go back and get more of the other things because I just didn't get enough. I got this little jar for sugar. A little chicken and then I got these like ripped I think no I think they're glass glass cups they were three pounds each and then I got this, I've got a new washing up bowl that was $1.99. <laughs> and then I got Oh no. Right, go and pick them up. Um, I got these little like um, scalloped bowls. No, no. Oh no. Two pounds fifty each. Um, little side plates. Two pounds fifty each again. What is happening? I think you need the chicken head. That's the chicken feet. There's the chicken head. Yeah. Mummy, do that one. Give me a kiss. <laughs> oh! Chicken head! And then there's the plates. Oh, they were 3 50 each. So I think I need I think I need either four or six, don't I? I don't know why I bought two of each. I think I just panicked. So yeah. These two days that we're going back to being in. Have you missed us? <laughs> yes. Yes, I missed you so much. I missed you so much, guys. So we had the best time at Disney on Ice. Um, Barney just absolutely loved it. He did so amazing. Like I, 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 know. I really wasn't sure how he was going to do, but he did incredible, and he really loved <laughs> it. Why did you say that so funny? I don't know. I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'm really tired too. That was quite a long drive. It was like 80 miles each way, I think. So yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Seat Unique. We were so incredibly lucky to have all of that space, and I do think that's 
a huge reason. Reason I can't speak now. <laughs> See, it's hard. Reason <laughs> speaking's hard. I do think it's a huge reason why Barney did so well because he just had the space just to have a little break, move about. Um, totally agree. And, and we weren't him. expecting it, like we said before. Like we got there, and it was just so, so beyond big, our expectations. Yeah. We were already feeling really lucky that we got invited, so thank you so much. And if you if you do want to check out any of the other experiences that Seat Unique offer tickets for, we'll leave a link in the description box. Yeah. But yeah, I guess that's the end of our first like vlog back since Disney. So do let us know what you want to see more of or less of. Did you of. like the weekly vlog thing? I've really enjoyed it. I have. It's been really nice to film again. Yeah. So um, if you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up to <laughs> let us know. I <laughs> just and... sorry, I look like a floating head, and then I wasn't even in it, so I just like a floating <laughs> I'm just neck. Talking to myself. No, it's fine. <laughs> but I just don't understand why I look like the head from Art Attack. <gasps> Heart attack! I've not thought about that in a long time. No, I, do not. I think about it regularly. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> okay, we love you. <laughs> Thanks. See you in our next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.